In this lecture, we'll learn how to make histograms. So to make histograms, let's first come to plot, come to statistical, and we see many different histograms visualized in here. So let's just begin with, so sometimes when you put your mouse on the image, it gives you a brief, it says plot the selected Y columns as histogram. So you can just select let's say this one and come to plot statistical and hit a histogram and this is just similar to what we've done for columns so the editing is quite the same you can change the border colors make them let's say red change this to let's say dash change this to let's say three let's update them you can change the colors if you want if you desire you can change the patterns let's make this solid and maybe red is too strong let's go for something light oh we had red and red that was why so yeah you can change all these add patterns to them add whatever that you desire to it and it's just the same way of editing you can put some spacing in between them and it just becomes like columns but because this is zero if you need them close that's the usual histogram and you can also do some editing here auto band so you can change the band size the number of bands you can begin with and end with you know you can also add distributions so let's say if you want to add uh, a Lorenz to it you can have a Lorenz distribution you can have a binomial distribution you can have whatever exponential distribution to it and also add labels so that is it for histogram another tool that is useful is you can maybe plot multiple and come to plot come to statistical and choose histogram now you're seeing one two three four columns selected but you can come to object manager and let's say deselect till you have one or maybe you want to do two so you can start your plot with multiple and just use object manager to select or deselect and you can edit them this way as well so i wanted to i wanted to throw out that one out there at this point let's come to statistical and you can also have histogram plus rag so we've already done this in columns so you can add rags to it to it you can also come to plot statistical and do histogram plus probabilities so you can have a you can have an histogram and it will give you a brief statistics so it gives you the size which is 50 it gives you the mean which is 251 and gives you all these and these all can be they can be edited and they can all be edited in here so you can there's a plot details but select this and you can edit all of these here as we've already done and this also gives you a cumulative percentage so it uses the frequency and it ends at 100 so it kind of gives you these steps you have a cumulative percentage not frequency so this gives you a cumulative percentage up to 100 so you can see these steps in this axis Let's come back to sheet one and I can close this. 
go to plot and statistical you can also do distribution which we've already shown so you can choose any different distribution that you need this one is normal you can choose whatever that you want to choose for your analysis and let's do the next one which will be statistical so you can also add labels so that's the same you can do stacked so if you choose double and then let's go to plot and let's choose stacked and it stacks on it just like we did for columns and the labels you can select come to the label side and also enable and you can add labels or just go in and plot labels with labels we can also come again to plot to statistical and do population pyramid so you can have this this data set is not the best to represent this but it gives you this kind of idea and yeah you can you can try that so okay let's let's try it this way let's maybe plot just a few we come to plot and statistical and population so yeah it gives you that you have like more population this side than the other side We can also come to plot and statistical and do marginal histograms so all these are very important in in your data visualization so you can edit all of these or customize your graph to look more interesting in using what we've studied in under customizing graphs